Hi everyone, John Morris, KWU instructor and technology trainer. And in today's lesson, I want to show you guys how to set up a, a links page for neighborhoods uh, that you service. Uh, so let me show you what I mean before we get started. So if I go to my website and I click the arrow down here, I can see where it says Ripon by Neighborhoods, Santa Cruz by Neighborhoods. So these are the two primary kind of farm areas that I look at servicing. And so uh, in the city of Ripon has 10 different neighborhoods, for example, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to click Ripon by Neighborhoods. And on this page, all that I have done is basically broken down uh, the Ripon properties uh, by the specific neighborhoods so that people can quickly find stuff in the specific neighborhoods that they're interested in. Uh, so, for example, if I click Ripon West, which is a neighborhood in Ripon, that will open up the link to that neighborhood uh, page inside of my site so that people can see that there are 43 homes for sale, 23 pending, average home price is 546. Uh, you get the information on the neighborhood here, uh, can see all the homes that are for sale, and so forth. And then if I wanted to take a look at Chesapeake, for example, I can see the same information uh, on that particular neighborhood as well too or I could click the link to hit explore the neighborhood and so forth. So uh, I could set, I set that up so that if you are interested in any specific neighborhood inside of Ripon, you can quickly come to this page and click any one of these links to get the neighborhood info uh, for uh, you. Now, pretty easy to set this up, so I'll show you how to do it. We're gonna go into command and we want to go down to sites. So we're gonna click the sites icon and then once we get into sites, we're going to create a new page. Uh, now, I've already done this lesson a few times uh, for creating a site, so I'm going to move pretty quickly in the site creation part of it, and then I'll show you how to customize that site uh, when we get to it. So we're going to just click Create a New Site. We're going to put this on our agent site, not as a standalone page, so we're going to want to click up there, click Create Page. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to name this. And so I'm going to just do a copy of the Ripon one that I did. So I'm going to just do Ripon, Ripon 2. You guys name it whatever you're going to call your, call the city that you're going to do. Then we're going to pull the company profile widget in here. We'll click configure widgets. Click the company profile. And then doesn't matter what you type in here, we're going to have to type it again anyway. So we're going to click Save and Apply. We're going to then click Save Changes up top here. And then now we have to go into the settings to add this page to our website. So once we get back to the main page, we're going to click Agent Site Settings up top here. And then we're going to click where it says Pages. We need to add this page to our site, so we're going to click Add Page down here. And I'm going to just type in Ripon2 as my title, and then Ripon-2. Again, you guys put in the name of the city that you're working for. SEO description, uh, there's a lot of different things that you could put in here. Again, uh, the thing you're going to want, really want to strive for is putting in keywords that somebody might utilize in, say, a Google search to look for properties in your area. Uh, so I'm not going to get real creative with this right now because I just want to get through the tutorial for you guys. So I'm just going to put Ripon2 in here. Uh, but again, I would you know, really kind of analyze what I think some keyword searches would be and really flesh this out if I was going to do this uh, as uh, my main page. So I'm going to click Save Changes. Oops, I need to again hit Select Page before I do that. So we created the Ripon2, so I'm going to click that, hit continue. Now this is going to allow me to hit the save changes. So now once this is saved, we're going to go back up to the top here. And we are going to go to agent site pages. And then we're going to go back to that Ripon2 or whatever you called yours and click edit. And then we're going to hit Configure Widgets. And 
And then once we hit configure widgets, we'll go back to company profile. And then we go into the template that I've created for this for you guys. So if we look at the template, headline is going to be the name of the city. So the name of my city here, again, is Ripon. So I'm going to call this Ripon 2. In the intro text, it says uh, that we need to basically, and this is where we need to put cut some code in. And it's not very hard to do. I'll show you what you need to do to be able to find this. So we only change what's in red. And we have two things that we need to add. We need to add the link from your site on the neighborhood, and then we need to change the neighborhood name. And what we're going to want to make sure that we do is, is that for each of the neighborhoods that we have, so for this example, let's say I'm going to add three neighborhoods. So I'm going to copy where the B starts down to the BR. So just from the B to the BR, so I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste for each neighborhood that I want to enter into my page, let's say there's 10, uh, I'll paste uh, 10, make sure there's 10 copies in there. Uh, if there's three, then I'm going to want to make sure there's three copies in there. So however many neighborhoods you're going to add to this page, that's how many times you want to paste this. So like I said, for this example or tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do three. So we already got one. I'm going to paste a second one, and then I'm going to paste a third one. And then now all I need to do is I need to go to my website and then I'm going to type in the name of my city, Ripon, California. And then when this comes up, I'm going to get a list of all the neighborhoods in my city up here. So once this populates, you'll see there's 10 neighborhoods. And again, I want Ripon West. So I'm going to click on the Ripon West. And then you can see now that it has all the Ripon West information. I'm going to click on and copy that link. I'm going to go back into the template. And I'm going to only get rid of what's in red. So you can see that everything else, the two quotation marks, are still there. I just got rid of what is in the red. And then I'm going to paste that link in there. And then now I'm going to change that neighborhood name to Ripon West. And then I got to do that for every neighborhood that I want to add. So I'm going to go back. And once I go back, let's say that I want to add now Harvest Park. I can click on Harvest Park. And then I can get the link for Harvest Park and go back to that template. And then I'm going to get rid of the link from my site. And I'm going to paste in Harvest Park. I'm going to change the name to Harvest Park. And then I'm going to go back one more time because I wanted to get three different ones in there. And let's say I want to do Chesapeake. So I'm going to click Chesapeake. I'm going to get the link for Chesapeake. Copy that. And then I want to go in and I'm going to paste that link in here. And then I'm going to change the name of the neighborhood to Chesapeake. And then I'm done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where it says center down here and go all the way up to where it says center up top here. And I'm going to copy that whole thing. And then when I go back into here I'm going to take out the information that's in that box and I'm going to paste that code in there and then I'm just going to follow the rest of the directions here header image I'm going to if you want to change the image here on your landing page you can change the image in there I'm going to just leave this one in here for right now and then I go into the next part section one heading leave that blank Section 1 text, I need to copy this and paste this in. And I'm going to go back to where it says Section 1 text. I'm going to delete all that information in here and paste that code into that spot. And then it says basically for the rest of the way to delete or leave blank on everything. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete that text. I'm going to delete this text. I'm going to delete this image, delete that text, and delete that text. 
then I'm going to hit save and apply because I'm all done. Now what this should do is give us the name, Ripin2, and then uh, we have the uh, name of the city by neighborhood and those three links that we put inside of there. And then for section one heading, it looks like I forgot to delete that part, so I'm going to take that part out, and I'm going to hit save and apply. And we can now see that it now has exactly what we want it to have in there. Uh, so pretty simple, and I'll make sure that the template is on the website uh, for you guys to utilize the template as well. Uh, but this is a really easy way to add some real value to your website so that when people visit it, uh, they can get really hyper-local on the specific information uh, that they're interested in without having to click around too much, which is always a good thing. Uh, once we're done with everything, we just hit Save Changes, and then we click Yes. And then now we go back here to my website and if I hit reload we can see that the Ripon 2 page is now on my site. Uh, so that's it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the lesson and we'll see you the next time.